All right. So let me uh, get my PowerPoint ready to share here. Just coming off of the main stage, so we'll get that all dialed in. And then we can get started. And let's see. All right. There it is. Okay. Almost there. And let me, uh, so now I got to figure out how to just share my slides here. And there we go. All right, everyone. So thanks for joining our session here today. We're going to talk about how to leverage technology to impress investors and streamline fundraising, um, as it says on our slide here. So uh, let's get into this. Uh, if you didn't attend our last session, I'll just reintroduce myself. I, uh, I'm Mike Sebastian. I'm the Institute Principal at Appfolio. I've been in real estate technology for 14 years now, working with many different asset classes, including multifamily, office, industrial, retail, and all other types of assets in real estate. Uh, I've worked with investment management clients for well over 10 years, ranging from small offices and syndications to large private equity funds and institutions. Uh, I've worked in, with clients to help them leverage state-of-the-art software to streamline business processes around the entire life cycle of real estate, starting with fundraising and investor relations, acquisition, underwriting, investment management and reporting, all the way through property management and construction. So the whole life cycle of real estate. Uh, so let's get into... The next slide here. So for this workshop today, we're going to take a look at how purpose-built investment management software can transform your business really by optimizing fundraising processes and creating an exceptional experience for your investors. Affolio Investment Management is a smarter, all-in-one real estate investment management software solution you can access on demand with one login. Uh, it's created by our award-winning team uh, at Affolio. Uh, and, and we've, so it's also, we levered our scaled off of that folio property management, which has been in the market for over 10 years and is a public company. So we scaled off of that and designed, uh, designed this tool to automate day-to-day -day tasks, increase productivity, impress investors and accelerate growth while maintaining a simple user experience with a low learning curve. And it's designed by the best UX designers. Um, at a high level, Appfolio has tools to help really in three major areas of your business you can see on the screen here. Investor relations, so you can effectively manage or efficiently manage relationships and interaction with your investors uh, within a robust CRM tool that's built for real estate investment management. Uh, investment management is a second pillar, so here's where we promote new offerings, track interest of prospective investors, and manage active investments. I would say this includes sophisticated tools to calculate distributions, pay investors, calculate their performance, amongst a lot of other things. So we automate a lot of those day-to-day -day tasks, try to get you out of Excel. Um, the third pillar is an investor portal. And so this is a tool that gives investors easy 24-7 access to a dashboard um, that summarizes uh, really all the important investment information they're looking for. It's quick and easy to access. Uh, you can look at new opportunities. It has interactive content and it promotes that, uh, that communication with your investors, build that trust, and, uh, and really helps you fundraise and maintain those relationships. All right, so let's talk about investor relations. Let's talk about that first pillar. Um, so, so by taking a look at the way we leverage purpose-built software to enhance investor relations, uh, you know, I, I define investor relations as any activities in your business that rely on working directly with your investors, including corresponding uh, with them, taking calls, providing information, providing reports. Uh, so that's, that's really where we see investor relations coming, working with those existing investors. 
So when it comes to working with your existing investors, what we've found when we work with our clients, when we've surveyed the market is transparency and accessibility. I would also add, there was a question in the last session about um, during the pandemic and during these times of disruption, what's important in working with the investors, what have we seen? Well, transparency and accessibility to information is probably one of the top things, top items that comes up in our surveys with investors and with our clients saying that this is what their investors need. So when you leverage technology to optimize your investor relations and the investor experience, one of the primary outcomes we're seeing is an increase in transparency and accessibility. And this of course leads to greater credibility and trust. So here are three ways that you can use purpose-built software. When we say purpose-built, by the way, we mean it's designed specifically for investment management. And for real estate. So we build the software to create that transparency and accessibility. The first area here is that you're able to provide on-demand access to information. We know investors are always looking for information. It's critical, especially now, that we provide investors with 24-7 access to important investment details that they can access at any time. This approach really instills confidence in your business and will ensure your investors are receiving the level of involvement and transparency that they're expecting. The second piece of information uh, or column here is that you can distribute important reading, uh, reporting information as soon as possible. So frequent reporting that contains important details about investment performance is critical to raise, <clears throat> uh, to raise investor expectations. Finally, I think it's important to address that many investment managers might be wary of adopting technology. Uh, to help with investor relations. They fear that they'll lose important white glove experience that they're currently providing touch points with investors. In reality, this is not the case. Connecting with your investors via digital technology tools will allow you to communicate more frequently with them uh, and still provide personalized touches that, that scale well so you can grow your business. So here's a simplified view of the type of investor portal that we build here at Appfolio Investment Management for our clients. Investment management companies, uh, so note that the actual screens here contain more data and look a bit different. Um, so this is not an exact screenshot, but it's representative of one. The investor portal is designed to give investors 24 seven on-demand access to important information, everything from promoting new offerings, details and active investments, built online, uh, or I'm sorry, built in online contributions and K1s and documents. Everything is in real time and information can be posted securely to the portal at any time. Uh, this tool can really be your best asset for instilling confidence in your business and it'll ensure your investors are receiving the level of transparency they expect. Uh, you can connect investors instantly to important investment information by frequently updating the performance metrics monthly, quarterly, um, to create a tangible experience and by uploading recent photos or videos of your project, pushing out updates on that, that extra level of insight really makes investors feel connected to their GPs. At the end of the day, looking at it as professional as possible is paramount when you're asking people for their money. Let's go to the next slide. All right. So um, here's a little case study I like to relate. So uh, we have clients of all types using our platform, including small and large syndicators, JV deals, funds, and REITs, to name a few. So here's an example of a small multifamily syndicator who's using our portal to increase professionalism and transparency. Steve's investors love the simple uh, and yet rich experience. Just let you look at that for a minute. Now we'll look at how other aspects of the investment management business can be up-leveled with help from technology tools. Um, I think of this category uh, as your back office. Anything having to do with how you're operating your business and investments, collecting documents, tracking signatures, fundraising, K1 distributions, distributions in general, uh, email communications, statements, there's so many different pieces and, and that's just to touch the surface of your business that we help automate. So we've all seen spreadsheets like this with complicated models. This is obviously a waterfall model for just one investment with two investors. So we understand the pain that our clients face 
uh, especially who have many deals, many funds, many syndications. And it gets even harder to manage when you have investors in many different deals that, that are spread out and they want to know what their capital balances are across all their deals, what their performance is. And that's where Appfolio Investment Management comes in uh, and can track all this information in one place, simplify your life, and with respect to all these spreadsheets, save a lot of time. In contrast, taking your investment management fully digital can tremendously improve business process efficiency. Uh, there's a difference between working out a truly digital technology tool versus a spreadsheet I showed in my previous slide. Digital investment management allows you to keep all important information in one organized place that all your team members can collaborate out of. So when opportunity arises in the coming months, your team will be fully prepared for it. Second, this middle column, there's a cost to not having your investment management digital, and that is you're putting your business at risk. Take a hard look at your security end to end throughout your process. Look across every element of your business and check its security. For example, are your subscription documents and investor information protected? Uh, is all that information fully encrypted? So technology tools have been built for investment management ensure security. Finally, in the last column, technology tools built for real estate investment management allow for teams to be agile and quickly execute on their business model. Uh, this is really more important than ever in an uncertain market, but also in a market where we there's a, a major consensus that there's a huge opportunity coming up in the next six to 12 months, unprecedented in terms of the opp buying opportunities and for, for really driving a lot of investor value. So being able to execute quickly is going to help you uh, position yourself against potential competitors as well. All right, let's go to the next slide. Another major part of our business is raising capital uh, from investors for new deals. So this is traditionally a very expensive and time-consuming process that can take months to years. It has been very paper-heavy for a long time. Our clients have transitioned their fundraising to be fully digital. Using our tools to create interactive pitch books with very simple, and I really want to stress simple to use, but powerful tools for the investor. Um, our tools track your fundraising progress and walk you through the process step-by-step, step, helping you to quickly and efficiently collect those signatures. So here's a good case study. Uh, Jeremy from Argo Property Group found our fundraising process combined with our investor portal helped to raise more capital, increase their investor confidence in them. Uh, another anecdote I can relate to you about this, the, the portal uh, and about another client of ours is and I think I mentioned this earlier, they were able to take a two month fundraise down to two weeks. Um, and so there's a lot of variables in there, but uh, you know, and, and everyone's, uh, like I said, all deals are different. Uh, everyone's situation's different, but with tools like this, you can really get that information faster. We'd love to show you how we do that. All right, so the last area you want to take a look at is how you can leverage technology for deeper insights into your, your asset performance. Uh, so our purpose-built software can also help connect your business from investment management to property management. Using our tools to vertically manage your business can help in a, a lot of ways. So accounting is a big expense. It takes a lot of time. Um, and distributions to investor is one example of a process we streamline and significantly reduce the amount of time you spend on this each month and each quarter. There's a lot more we do in this area, and I invite you to get a personalized demo so we can show you how we can help your company out depending on your situation. Being able to pull data on asset details is critical, especially at this time to help determine risk. For example, we've worked with investment managers who are able to project expected rent collection uh, because they understood their tenant data. For example, which percent of tenants had occupations that were impacted at the time of the shutdowns, which is now we're shut down again in many places. Uh, and how can that help estimate whether or not rent would be deferred? So we also know from our research and from our market surveys that reporting is a challenge and takes a lot of time. So we're constantly innovating our reporting so you spend less time and get reports out faster to investors, building and maintaining your confidence with them. And when you have a vertically integrated business where you do the property management in-house and sit investment management on top, as that folio can provide, you reduce your total cost of ownership of that software 
and you massively increase your efficiency. So we've talked a lot about creating efficiencies and streamlining communications to your investors. And when you have a portal like Appfolio, the Appfolio Investor Portal, that's designed specifically for sharing information and fundraising with investors, that's how you do it. It needs to be tightly integrated with your investment management system, not just a bolt-on. And it needs to be simple to use so your investors, even tech-averse investors, will use it. Um, this is the this way investors can really easily get their capital balances, performance reports, and other information a lot faster. Fundraise faster, um, push information out, and it just becomes a much better use of everyone's time. So, last case study, uh, Calidus adopted our solution early on and found it improved meetings with their investors. Uh, really, in our current social distancing world, that this can still happen very easily on an investor iPad or iPhone. Uh, so, last slide, and then we'll open up for questions. Our team at Folio Investment Management is partnering with investment management firms to help them streamline their processes and effectively communicate with investors and streamline your, your business operations. If you're interested in speaking with one of our product experts for a virtual demo, please stop by the Appfolio Investment Management demo booth at the summit, and now we'll open it up for questions. So now let me see how I can let's see. Let's go uh, stop sharing that for a minute. And now I can see myself again. All right. So we have a couple questions. And let's take a look. I think it goes top down. So do large percentage of investors actually log into the portal to actively renew their investment? Seems like it would be the exception rather than the rule. I would say there's a lot of variables to that question, to that answer. Um, but, uh, but what we do is we give your investors the ability to, to do a number of things in this space. I mean, it, it, when you say renew their investments, I, I mean, what I'm thinking in my head is like a drip or how to want to reallocate my distributions, and we support that. Investors can actually go into the portal and make decisions that way. Um, so, so that's one way that we support that. Uh, obviously, they can go and sign documents online. They can get access to other features and, and other information, new opportunities. So, so yes, we do support that. Uh, and I would also add that we actually have tools that let you monitor what your investors are doing in the portal. And this can be massively huge for fundraising uh, and understanding how uh, impactful your marketing materials are being. And, and so there's ways that we can show you that we do that. Uh, and, and we are seeing from, I think most of our clients that yes, investors are getting in and using the portal. And so we can, we can help you track that. Another question. Uh, do you have any tips that would help a new client who has little to no infrastructure internally to onboard new tech? Yeah, so this is a great question. How do we onboard a new software tool like this when you're when you, you don't have a lot of resources? You got to your time's better spent hunting for deals, doing investor relations. And I think that that's where we have um, a major advantage in that we offer a boutique implementation service where you can essentially give us your data and we'll put it in there for you. Um, the other side of that is we have, we have studies. So internally, when we build software, uh, we have a whole team that studies how the software is used and con consistently, even after its design. I mean, we never stop uh, making it better and easier to use. We take feedback from our clients. But I guess my point is, is that we spend an enormous amount of time on the user interface so that we're tr with the goal of reducing the learning curve as much as possible. And I can tell you from my own experience, when I first saw this software, um, when, I, when I joined Appfolio, I, I mean, now naturally I've been selling software and I've been in the market for a long time, but I was able to learn the software in literally a few days. It's just like, I need to do X, where do I find that? Oh, here it is, and you can figure it out. So it's kind of like, um, I would compare it to like an Apple iPhone. It's obviously there's more complicated features that you can get into, but if you just wanted to do some simple things or use some apps, you can figure it out on your own. You don't need anybody to teach you how to do it. 
And so uh, not that we don't, I mean, we of course have training, but I think that our interface and the way we approach it is simple enough that you can, you can really learn that for yourself. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, we'd love to talk to you more about that and show you in more detail how we can help you there. So I would, I'd advise you to head over to the booth. Um, let's look, go to the next question. Are Affolio's potential clients the ones that are still on Excel versus those who are using Yardi, uh, investment management, MRI, real page, Juniper Square? Um, we get both. So I, I can share with you that um, we, we do have a lot of clients. There are still a ton of companies in the market that don't have software like the ones that we just listed. But we do get a lot of clients that, that, that come over from those other providers for various reasons, and we can certainly talk about that. Um, let's see, next question here. What is the onboarding time for a new client with that folio? It's pretty fast. Uh, I think compared to what you may have experienced with some of the other providers, and uh, I, I would love to discuss that with you in person, and, but I think you're looking at, depending on the size of your organization, the, the time is going to um, be measured in weeks, not months. So that, uh, and again, I think that owes to our, our unique process for how we onboard clients. So we, we'd love to talk with you about that more one-on-one -on -one and, and explain how that happens. Uh, and then another question, what's Affolio partner for virtual tours? Do you offer this? Wondering if there's been a big increased demand for this. I think, yes, so Affolio Property Manager has virtual tours. We do support that. I am not on the property management side of the business, um, so I wouldn't be able to speak to that directly, but we can direct you to the right um, resources at our booth. So I know I'm kind of kicking things over to the booth for specific answers because we want to talk with you one-on-one -on -one about those things, so hopefully that makes sense, uh, and I hope that's useful for you. And so let's see, where are we at with time? We could take a couple more questions here if anybody has any questions. All right. There's a question about asking to share audio and video. Um, I don't know the answer to that. That is more on the the uh, administrative side of this, which I am not on. So I'll let somebody else answer that question because I don't know the answer. But we're, we again, we are happy to speak with you uh, in the uh, the other session if that doesn't work. All right. Hello, Chuck. Did it work? It worked. I can see you and I can hear you. How about that? That's pretty amazing. I uh, think, Michael, it's great meeting you. I know we haven't met before. Um, I have been involved in the uh, investment management advisory board with Realcom for many, many years. Oh, yes, I know Realcom. Oh, okay. I thought you guys did because I saw it on your website. So, uh, yep. Um, Hey, uh, let me ask a very specific question too about Appfolio because when I search for Appfolio, I can search for Appfolio Investment Management or I can search for Appfolio Property Management. They seem right. to be two separate things, uh, it, but you mentioned they sort of work together. Uh, I, I'm, I'm imagining though you're displacing, you're looking for clients that want to get off of what they're currently doing on property management and in, if they're investment managers, and deploy those two things together. Is that the ultimate goal? Correct. Yes. Now, now having said that, um, so a, a couple points, and, and you made some very good points. We're very well aware of the way it appears to the public looks a little bit more disjointed than it really is. That is in the process of being corrected, but marketing wheels churn slowly sometimes. <laughs> okay. Well, I wanted to double check that I wasn't looking at two different companies. Yes, so it is the same company. Um, now, the reason it's organized that way is because Appfolio Investment Management mm -hmm. has the ability of, of working in a standalone. So, for example, 
naturally you get a lot of um, economies of scale if you have a vertically integrated solution with you know investment management on top of property management but um, we also have a lot of clients that outsource the property management and so they only use our our investment management tool okay one of the things i i want to share with you too is that uh, i'm organizing the investment management education track for realcom this mm. in october and uh, and and so having clients who can tell their story i noticed you had some case studies on there they all look very interesting but i think the idea too of having clients who can tell their story in a virtual environment like this uh, and and have a series of those case studies what that can do for people is really give them the opportunity to see multiple solutions but hear directly from the client not necessarily the vendors telling yeah. your story so i like it if that's something you guys might be interested in just check with uh with with realcom we, we will definitely look into that i appreciate you you mentioning that we do have clients that would actually love to sit on that panel uh and, and participate in that so I, thank will, you very I will much. be the moderator of that so it, excellent it should be excellent. fun i don't want to dominate your time so thank you for that i appreciate hey i just and i wanted to test this before the final day just to see if it would work <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thanks, Chuck. We appreciate your time today. All right. Take care. Steve. All right. I think we had some more questions come in. And so let's take a look at that. Uh, so we're writing a report for the future uh, of investment management, wondering if you could point me towards any empirical research into outdated processes and tech efficiency um good question you know what we uh, let me get back uh so i would say please uh email me uh or our team um at appfolio and maybe um maybe savannah or um somebody can can uh, give you our, our my or, or their email address and uh, i can get you in touch with our research team and maybe we can figure out a way to help with that uh, if, and if, you know, another option is stop by the booth, somebody can give you my email address. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's take that approach and, and we'll, we'll get in touch. Uh, let's see. In there, are there any new initiatives in the near term that fully will be announcing? So by initiatives, I'm going to, I, I think what you mean is any new developments, any new features coming out. We have a massive um, plan and vision, if you will, for where we're taking the software. We're rolling out new features, sometimes very small ones, uh, on the order of weekly. Um, and then we have some very, very large features. So yes, we have a, a, a massively new uh, email solution that we're rolling out to out of beta into mainstream um, right now as we speak and there are we are um we have a lot of other new major initiatives we can discuss with you um some are in a research phase that takes about three months as we survey the market and we we look at existing solutions that people are doing and, and we also study how people do their job and, and roll that into the software so i think that's a unique thing we do um and so that's why we have the long research phases. But yeah, so we have a, a lot of things. I, I don't know that I want to announce everything publicly right now, um, but happy to discuss with you one-on-one. -on -one. All right, any other questions? All right, so I think we already dropped the the uh, booth link, but we can do that again. And let me just put that in here. And there it is. So if you, uh, if you so some of those questions I said, let, let's go and talk about it one on one in the booth. So we'll, we can do that. Um, we, you know, if, if you want to speak with me directly, we can set up a time to do that. And uh, other than that, I thank everybody for coming, and I thank you for your participation, and, and um, hope, hopefully we'll talk to you again soon.
other than that, I can just hang on for a couple more minutes is, is, uh, if any other questions come in. Thank you. All right, so we'll see you all at the booth. Have a good day.